Good morning everyone, this is Ma'am Sheila and for today's lesson, you are going to apply here all the knowledge that you have acquired in module 5 which is all about quadrilaterals. So let us begin with our problem number 1. A rectangular frame will be supported by diagonal braces. If the length of one brace is quantity x plus 8 centimeters and the other brace is quantity 4x minus 1 centimeters, how many meters of steel bars would be needed for the braces? So the first thing that you have to identify is what quadrilateral is stated in the problem. Then second, what part or what theorem can you apply in order to answer the given problem? So let us answer the first one. What quadrilateral is stated in the problem? Yes, in the problem, we are talking here of a rectangle. And then, what do you think will be the theorem that you are going to apply to solve the problem? So, given is diagonal 1, x plus 8. So, let us write the given. The given is diagonal 1, which is x plus 8 centimeters. And also, diagonal 2, which is 4x minus 1 centimeters. Ang tinatanong will be, how many meters? of steel bars would be needed for the braces. So, lalagyan ng base, ng brace, ang ating rectangular frame. So, gagamitin ay diagonal braces. So, ilang meters daw ng steel bar ang inyong gagamitin. Of course, to identify the length of the steel bars that you will be needing, of course, you need to identify the length of diagonal 1 and the length of diagonal 2. And what theorem you are going to apply in order to solve the given problem? Yes, you are going to apply that in a rectangular diagonal, in a rectangle rather, diagonals are congruent. So, in a rectangle, diagonals are congruent. So, we can have the equation diagonal 1 is equal to diagonal 2 because diagonals are congruent. Then, by substituting, diagonal 1 is x plus 8. Diagonal 2 is 4x minus 1. Then we are going to combine similar terms. We have here 4x minus x and then we will be having here 8 plus 1. Then we are going to simplify. We have 9 equals. We have here 3x. And to solve for x, you are going to divide both sides by so this will be cancelled out so x is equal to 3 what we have here is the value of x so let us get the measure of each diagonal so diagonal 1 is equal to x plus 8 so by substituting the value that we have get got get here we have x is equal to 3 so we have 3 plus 8 which is equal to 11 which means that diagonal 1 is equal to 11 centimeters and since the diagonal are congruent, it means diagonal 2 is also 11 centimeters. But just to check if it is correct, diagonal 2 is equal to 4x minus 1. We substitute the value of x, which is 3. You have minus 1. So we have here 12 minus 1. There you have it. Diagonal 2 is also 11 centimeters. Knowing that diagonal 1 and 2 are both 11 centimeters, to answer the Question, how many meters of steel bars would be needed for the braces? How many meters? Yes, you will be needing 22 centimeters of steel bars to support the rectangular frame having the diagonal braces. So, ito ang ating frame. Ang kailangan mo dito na steel bar is 11 cm. Siyempre, sa kabila din, kailangan na 11 cm. So, the answer to the question is that you will be needing 22, this is centimeter, 22 centimeters of steel bar. For problem number 2, we have here, one side of a kite is 5 cm less than 7 times the length of another. If the perimeter is 86 cm, find the length of each side of the kite. So, one side of a kite is 5 cm less than 7 times the length of another. If the perimeter is 86 cm, find the length of each side of the kite. So, again, what quadrilateral is stated in the problem? This time around, we are talking here of a kite. Now, anong part ng kite ang ating pinag-uusapan? 
we are talking here of the side. Actually, hinahanap yung length ng each side of the kite. So, ang given is the side. There are two sides here. So, if we have a kite, by definition, okay, this is our kite, which means these are congruent. So, if this is S sub 1, this is S sub 2, then S sub 1 is equal to S sub 2. This is our side 3. It is congruent to our fourth side or side 4. So, we can say that side 3 is equal to side 4. So, let us identify what is our S sub 1 and what is our S sub 3. Then, if we have S sub 1, suppose that S sub 1 is X, that is the unknown side. What Then, S sub 3 is equal to, it says that, one side is 5 cm less than 7 times the length of another. So, if that side is x, what is the other side? The other side will be, correct, it will be represented as 7x minus 5. So, 5 cm less than 7 times the length of another. Now, what theorem or what concept you are going to apply for us to answer the given problem? Yes, the definition itself, ano, aside from the definition itself, that the two consecutive sides here are congruent, itong dalawang to, we can also use or apply the perimeter. So, how do we get the perimeter? It is the, okay, it is the sum of all the sides. So, pag kinuha natin ang perimeter ng kite, that is S sub 1, side 1, plus side 2, plus side 3, plus side 4. And then substitute here, our perimeter is given, which is 86 centimeter. Now, we have side 1. Side 1 is given, which is x. And as you all know, side 1 is equal to side 2. So, we can write is at 2 s sub 1. Dalawang s sub 1. Kasi equal ang s sub 1 and s sub 2. In the same manner, you are going to add dalawang side 3, which is 7x minus 5. Where did we get this again? Yes, our side 3 is 7x minus 5. Since sa kite, equal yung side 3 at side 4. Kaya meron tayong twice ng 7x minus 5. Then, if we simplify, we have 86. Okay. Our side 1 actually is x. So, we have 86 equals 2x plus substitute or distribute rather. We have 14x, 14x minus 10. Then, we have here, this is 10. We have here 86 APE. We have plus 10 equals 2x plus 14x is 16x. To simplify, this is 96 equals 16x. Then to solve for x, of course, you need to divide both sides by 16. And 96 divided by 16 is 6. So x is equal to 6. Ang nakukuha pa lang natin is the value of x, which is 6. Since S sub 1 is X, ibig sabihin S sub 1 or side 1 is 6 centimeters. And since S sub 1 is equal to S sub 2, it means side 2 is also 6 centimeters. And then if we get S sub 3, the side 3, okay, this is side 3. And then side 3 is equal to 7x minus 5. And then the value of x is 6. So 7 times 6 minus 5. So we have here 42 minus 5. And what is 42 minus 5? This is 37 centimeters. So side 3 is equal to 37 centimeters. And also, side 4 is equal to 37 centimeters. If we are going to check, so we have 6 plus 6, that is 12. And then 37 plus 37, this is 4, so we have 74. And if we add it, 12 plus 74, it is equal to 86, which is the perimeter of our I hope you get it. 
for our last problem we have here the length of one of the bases of a trapezoidal frame is 16 meters and the other base is 11 meters less than twice the length of the other base if the available string is 18 meters the question is would it be enough to be tied on the midpoint of each leg of the frame I'll read again. The length of one of the bases of a trapezoidal frame is 16 meters and the other base is 11 meters less than twice the length of the other base. If the available string is 18 meters, would it be enough to be tied on the midpoint of each leg of the frame? Let us answer again the first question. What quadrilateral is stated in the problem? Yes, this time around, we have here a trapezoid. Now, which theorem or which part is stated also in the problem? My basis ano, given is one base and the other base. Pero if you are going to look at the question, sabi, would it be enough to be tied on the midpoint of each leg of the frame? So, meron tayong trapezoid whether it is isosceles or non-isosceles, ang tinatanong, merong 18 meters na string. Is 18 meters enough para daw matay, maitali yung dalawang midpoint ng each leg of the trapezoidal frame? So, itatali daw yung dalawang midpoint. So, ano yung tinutukoy natin dito? Yes, we are talking here of the median. So, ano ba yung median? Kasha ba yung 18 meters? So, let us answer. Given is one of the base. One of the base is already given. That is 16. So, one base is 16 meters. If one of the base is 16 meters, what is the second base? According here, the other base is 11 meters, less than twice the length of the other base. The other base is already given, which is 16. So, para makuha natin, we will be having twice daw nung other length. The other length is given, B sub 1, which is 16, and 11 meters less than twice. So, we have minus 11. So, we have 12 times 16. This will give us 32. And 32 minus 11 is 21. So, ibig sabihin, our B sub 1 is 16 and our b sub 2 is 21 now from here we can get already the median so again median is parallel to the bases and the length is half the sum of the bases so we are going to use we have here the median is equal to one half the sum of the bases so b sub 1 plus b sub 2 then we are going to substitute the given b sub 1 again is 16 and B sub 2 is 21. Simplify. We have here 16 plus 21. That is 37. And then 1 half of 37 is, we have here 18.5. Which means that the median is 18.5 meters. So to answer the question, would it be enough if the available string is 18 meters? Would it be enough to be tied or to tie the midpoint of each leg of the frame? Is it a yes or a no? Is 18 meters enough? Obviously, it is not enough. Because the median is 18.5. So, yun ang kailangan para mapag-join nyo yung dalawang midpoint ng ating, ng ating legs. And the available string is only 18 meters. So, it is not enough. So there you have it. We have three examples on the problems that involves quadrilateral. I hope you get it. Thank you for watching.